Well, three years ago today, a church in Hubbard caught fire, leaving much of the community in shock. And the church has come a long way since then, and it is almost ready to open up again. First News reporter Kyle Alexander joins us live at the church this morning with more on that. Good morning, Kyle. Yeah, good morning, Anna. Good morning, Josh. St. Patrick's Church sits right here behind me on North Main Street in Hubbard, and it's been a part of the community for over 150 years. Now, it's had a long journey to get to where it's at today, but after the fire, it is almost ready to reopen. I'm going to take you back to that day three years ago, January 18th, 2021. The fire started in the church basement around 545 in the evening, and it caused millions of dollars in damages. Since then, the parish center next door has been the place of worship. Father Michael Swires became the pastor here in 2015, and he says one thing he will never forget from that night is the church members who came out during the fire. As soon as it was reported that there was a fire here, parishioners and neighbors and everybody just came uh, and started standing out there in the parking lot. And, and the rest is history. You know, so many different emotions from different people and um, all the things that just tugged at their heartstrings. Now here's a look at the inside of the church today. Some work still has to be done, but lots of that work has already been completed. In the next half hour, I'll tell you a little bit more about the work that's going to bring St. Patrick's Church back. It was quite a lot of work. And I'll also tell you when Father Swires expects the church to reopen. Again, that's all coming up in the next half hour. Live in Hubbard, Kyle Alexander, First News This Morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.